Nassan Tege Sebagala was last seen in public in August at the National Unity Platform Party headquarters in Kampala. Sebagala had returned nomination forms for Kampala mayoral race. According to his brother and Kawempe North MP Latifu Sebagala, Nasa Sebagala injured himself after falling in the bathroom three weeks ago and he was rushed to International Hospital Kampala. Relatives rushed to the hospital soon after he was pronounced dead. After thorough investigation, the doctors found out that he had intestinal obstruction. And uh, he was operated uh, three, uh, three times. And this morning, he had a cardiac arrest and he was declared dead. Latifu Sebagala has described the deceased as a pillar of their family. He has been our father because he is the heir to uh, our late father, Al Haj uh, Sharif Shaban Sebagala. Nasa Sebagala became the first directly elected mayor of Kampala in 1998 only to be arrested two months later in U.S. on fraud charges. Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Rukwago, who succeeded Sebagala in 2011, has described the deceased as one who transformed the politics of Kampala from being dominated by the city's elites to the politics of ordinary citizens. However lowly he was educated, however average he was in terms of appreciating statecraft and national issues, he is a man who would champion a particular cause that turned out to be very, very popular. And in the end, he was embraced by majority of the people in Kampala who idolized him. Former FDC President Dr. Kiza Besije says he first knew Sebagala in the 1970s as a successful young businessman with shops and other businesses in Kampala. Uh, but uh, those of us who were in Kampala then became aware of him long before we knew each other. And um, he has been indeed in business throughout uh, his life. Uh, he later on was one of those uh, that uh, started a uh, supermarket as uh, an African. You know, he had a big supermarket called Ugantico. Uh, and um, and so he's been, he made a big impact. Bestia recalls Sebagala's influential endorsement of his initial run for president in 2001. And, uh, and those indeed who were in the campaign of 2001 will be familiar with the chance of uh, Haji al uh, and, and, and in fact, we had our first rally then uh, here in Kasangati. And uh, it was an unbelievable uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, launch of a campaign. According to Besije, Sebagala played a significant role in his escape to South Africa shortly after the 2001 elections. After the elections, the harassment that um, eventually drove me out of the country, we went through it together. Uh, and in fact, we were at some stage planning uh, together to, 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 to leave the country and, and so on and so forth. So we, we, we eventually, you know, became, became close and have remained, uh, you know, associates in the struggle. Sebagal has died aged 72 and he will be buried in Chisas Kampala, according to his family. Hubbard Ziwa. NTV Weekend Edition.